Hey y'all, so what is the hardest part about being a med student? Um, literally being a med student. Okay, so what exactly do I mean by that? Well, some people think that the hardest part about being a med student is, you know, the course load. It's so much new information coming at you, a ton of information, you know, you're just trying to like grasp it all and study a lot and do well. Um, some other people think it's the transition literally just from like being an undergrad to being um, a medical professional in training or maybe you're coming from a job and you haven't been in school for like four or five years or maybe you're coming from like a different profession um, and now transitioning into uh, the healthcare field but honestly I think that the hardest part of being a medical student is literally just balancing the role of being a medical student with other factors of who you are so your other identities you know when you enter medical school um you know you're still somebody's family member you're still someone's sister someone's brother someone's son um someone's spouse someone's fiance someone's boyfriend someone's girlfriend um someone's i don't know like <laughs> um you're still someone's friend right like all of those things about you don't go away and I think that as you go through med school at least for me personally I'm only you know a year plus in but I just kind of noticed that there is a lot of stress that comes from yes being in school but also through my other identities as well um people are still getting married people are still dying like whether it's um someone who's close to you a close friend or whether it's a family member you know um people are still having birthdays people are still um doing a lot of things you know there's still a lot of things going on in the world you know people um being oppressed on the other side of the world you know people being oppressed in your own city in your own country and i would say that it's hard to tune out all of those things sometimes and just focus on medicine um for me i just think that you know school is school <laughs> at this point in your life as a med student for at least i feel like i can say for most med students like we've been in school our whole lives like yes you have to study um yes you have to do well and all of those things especially as like you know a medical student it's just kind of a different level and if, of course for me i'm also an md mph student um, because i have like the i'm doing the masters in public health as well and i'm not saying that you know being in med school is like easy and then that part isn't hard because it is but it's also doable you know like we we're still learning how to study and things like that and effective ways to study but it's not something that's new to us but what was new to me coming into med school was just taking on an identity that kind of required so much from me as um I guess you can say like a health professional in training um and then also just balancing all my other identities as well um i'm not saying like you know friends don't like call me or like call your other med school friends and tell them about like your woes and and the heartbreaks and and all of these kinds of things no definitely do that um i think i'm just trying to bring awareness to the fact that you know medical school isn't just hard because we have to study a bunch of things and memorize a bunch of things um sometimes i guess the trap that some people fall into at least like when they speak to me i don't know about others they're just like oh you'll get through it like you know three more years or whoever it is like two more years one more year but i like to look at med school as kind of the beginning of the end um it really is the beginning of your career in medicine right because after med school there's residency after residency maybe a fellowship maybe you'll do a master's in something just to kind of like tack on a degree and, and to develop more skills and even as an attending or you know whatever you do chief of surgery you're always still learning you're always still just kind of um 
trying to be a, a better doctor, right? So there is no there is no end goal. There is no end to the madness. <laughs> As some people like they seem to just like throw that on me. So this whole like balancing act um, that I've been trying to perfect <laughs> over the past year plus is it's never gonna go away, you know when you get married or, or if you have kids, if you get married, if you get kids, um, that's just like another factor to like manage if you move and go to like a different healthcare institution, um, but your family is like living far away. There's all these things that are always happening, but you still have this major role as just like a healthcare professional. And, you know, especially for me, you guys know my story. I came in straight in from undergrad, like I'm still learning how to be an adult. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm still learning how to just kind of make my own decisions, uh, try to do what's best for me, not to be like selfish in any way, but even understanding that, you know, there is not, it's not selfish to try and do what's best for you sometimes. So for me, that's just been, that's been a journey on its own, man. And just trying to balance everything, I would say that it's not easy. I just kind of want to acknowledge other med students who sometimes it's like we struggle to do the same, you know? Um, what do you do when you're studying um, and, you know, there's a situation at home and you kind of have to like leave immediately, literally, um, what you're doing just to like go home? Um, what do you do when something serious is going on with a friend? What do you do when there's a death of a loved one? Um, what do you do when someone very close to you is getting married but you have like a shelf exam <laughs> like two weeks um i'm sure you probably know about the wedding like ahead of time and things like that but um there's just all these kinds of things and you know especially with covid oh man like my entire med school career um is forever changed all of our lives are forever changed by the fact that covid was a thing still is a thing um and I would say it's just not easy sometimes just to just to be be a medical student because there's all of these things like looming over your head and sometimes it's very hard to like compartmentalize it's something that I'm personally like still working on um, trying to do so that I can like focus on my schoolwork um, all of that is to say that you know if you're not a med student watching this I would say encourage med students who are like when you check in on them don't just ask how is school going ask how is life going <laughs> how is being an adult going um, and you know just check in it's just like are you struggling to balance things right now you know what what would help you in this moment how can I help you and then to all the med students um, watching this you know I sympathize with you guys heavy um, anyone in the healthcare field that's watching this and I would say you know take it one day at a time sometimes I get down on myself because I don't know like is it the best decision to take this call of like someone who's like struggling and really needs like my help right now or you know versus like studying um, because you know I want to know the material well and I want to you know go on to do well and be like a, a really good doctor so take it one day at a time and just you know you'll figure it out <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly just deciding I'm just like I literally just have to figure it out one day at a time and sometimes like I realize I made the wrong decision and it's just like you know note don't do that again <laughs> um, so yeah and you know pre-med students get ready because <laughs> it's it's not easy but again med school is doable um being a healthcare professional is clearly doable and you just have to make certain decisions for yourself do what's best for you but also keep in mind that you're coming into a role where a lot of times you're trying to also do what's best for the patient so and what's best for your team because you know being a doctor is not a solo mission so that is the hardest part about being a med student <laughs> to me at least you know take it with a grain of salt i'm sure others would beg to differ but thanks so much for watching this segment i guess i can say i'll see you next time on raw med nyc